Greetings fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors, I'm the DBZ Collector and this is the Matchmakers Super Saiyan Gogeta from Bandai slash Banpresto. He was released on September 26th, 2019 and I got him from Ro Rivera. He is an admin in the North American Dragon Ball Alliance Facebook group. You do not need to live in North America to join, he lives in Japan. In the description box below, you will find links to places you can buy this figure. Before we take him out, before we get to the figure, we're going to the box first. Here is the front. One side also comes with the Broly, sold separately. The back. The other side. The bottom. The top. And the Toei Animation sticker, which is this figure's sticker of authenticity. Let you know that he's real not a bootleg. And now on to the figure. He comes in two pieces along with his base and support stick. You get his head and the rest of his body. And you might want to sit down for this. His legs are not hollow. Alrighty then, here he is put together. Base and all. He stands at nine and three quarter inches. Without it, he stands at nine and a half inches. Bandai slash Banpresto did a great job with this figure. The sculpt is done extremely well. And that's a very interesting looking pose that they have him in. Kind of look like he's bowling. Or he's like ushering in somebody through a door. Like, But with all joking aside, he's obviously throwing a key blast. I uh, don't remember exactly what part in the movie he did that. Obviously sometime when he was a Super Saiyan. If he even did that, let me know if he did. I'm not sure. Let me know. I am not too fond of his face. The main problem is his smile. It just doesn't look like it belongs on any Dragon Ball character. Kind of got like a creepy perv smile. Makes Master Roshi look like a well-behaved old man. And now let's talk about the sculpt. The sculpt of the hair looks very nice. As well as his arms and his vest and his pants. And I like the little folds and creases in it. it looks very uniform. And I like the uh, sh the uh, sculpt of the belt blowing in the wind and all that. As well as the vest. They also did a great job with the coloring. The quality and paint application look very good. And they got shading all throughout. Although I don't think the hair has any shading. Kind of hard to tell. And now the for some figure comparisons. Here he is compared to the Super Kamehameha, Super Saiyan Gogeta, and the Dragon Ball Legends collab, Super Saiyan Gogeta. And here he is compared to the Dragon Ball Legends Broly in his Wrath State, and the Chokoku Bayuden, Full Power Super Saiyan Broly. Here he is compared to the Chosenshi Retsuden, Piccolo, and the GX Materia Goku, doing the Kamehameha. And if there are any other figures you want me to compare them to, then let me know in the comment section below. And I'll reply back as soon as possible with an image of the comparison. Alright, and then that concludes this review. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down. But I hope you enjoyed it. And if you had this figure, then let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Even if you don't have them, let me know what you think based on what you see in this video. And if you'd like to buy this figure, at least one like it, and as I mentioned earlier, in the description box below, you'll find links to places you can buy this figure. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.